All right. All right, we'll go ahead and get started. It's your favorite science teacher, as always. All right, and uh, all right. And uh, what we're doing is we're doing more Punnett squares, all right? And so that is what we're doing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to share my screen with you. All right. And I'm going to open up my Elmo so you can see the problems that we're doing here. You do need paper out to do these problems. You do need paper out. All right. Here's how this is going to go. All right. So we are going with our, we were doing some of these from the other day. Um, and so we're going to do some more of these right now here. All right. Um, all right. So starting off, we're going to do the problem. Um, let me find the one that I want us to do here. Okay. There we go. We're doing number five. All right. Here's what number five says. It says production of healthy brain cells. Okay, and this is an incest example. All right, I write incest example. All right, um, big B stands for healthy brain cells. B stands for a rare production of unhealthy brain cells that makes a protein that's unhealthy for the brain cells. All right, what would what would be the dominant gene? We're doing number five. Healthy brain cells. All right, and let's say, so the first thing we do in all these problems is to do what? what we're, yeah, we can do that, but we also write the parents' genes. That's exactly right. And if you're helping me, I'm going to try to get you out of here quicker here. Big B, little B, all right? That is your genes. Let's say you married, you decided to marry your brother or sister. That's, that's disgusting. I, uh, and your, your child, your brother and sister have your, has the same genes, big B, little B. And we said big B stands for, what does it stand for? Just to kind of give us as a reminder, healthy, normal brain cells or normal protein for those brain cells, normal protein for brain cells. And the little B stands for abnormal yes abnormal brain cell protein all right okay who has the trait who has this again do the parents have normal brain cells or abnormal brain cells they have normal they're both normal it's your brother and your sister are both normal so yeah, both have normal brain cells. So again, we'll write that as a little side here. Here, uh, so normal brain cells. Normal brain cells. Okay, and so we're now. What's the next thing we do? We do our. Our box, that's right. And again, if you're helping me, I'm going to remember that. And again, that's going to help with you later today. I want to help you too. All right. And so we do our box and we write both our big B, little B, big B, little B. What would the child have if big if, if this parent gave a big B and this parent gave a big B? Big B, big B, and they would be normal. You're right. Both of you are right. All right, the next one, what would the child have if this parent gave a little b and this parent gave a big b, little b? Then the next one, this parent gave a big b and this one gave a, all right, and so big b, little b, and this parent, this child would have b, little b, little b. All right, now what we're going to do is, again, remember with all these problems, we do the possible, what are the two things we do? We do the possible phenotypes. possible phenotypes and genotypes, possible genotypes and 
Yes, thank you for correcting me. Thank you, I need that. Possible genotypes. And so the possible genotypes, and a genotype is the, is the trait that's shown or is it a listing of the alleles? It's the listing of the alleles. So what's, what are the, th there are three genotypes here. What are the three genotypes? Big B, big B, big B, little B. All right, so those are the three that are possible because we have all those in our possible here. If it's big B, big B, um, that is what chance, well, how many out of four is that? One out of four, and what chance is that? 25%. All right, and again, to help me with one out of four, I usually think of quarters, okay? That helps me with these. Uh, all right, the next thing here, uh, big B, little b, two out of four, and that is 50%. And then little b, little b is, which is 25%, okay? And so those are the possible genotypes. Now we need to do the possible phenotypes. All right, the possible phenotypes. All right, uh, what is a phenotype? Is it a trait that you show? Is it the trait that you show or is it a listing of the alleles? The trait that you show. So what would this child show? Normal brain cells. So how about this one? Normal, this one. Normal and this one. Not normal, abnormal. All right, so what's the chance to get normal? 75%, normal brain cells is 75%, three out of four. How about abnormal? 25%. And so this is kind of the reason why, again, there are some traits that you have a bad version of, but not many people have a bad version of that trait, okay? And so it's not going to get, it's not, you're not going to, your child's not going to get it likely. But if you marry somebody who like your brother or sister or somebody really closely related to you, you oftentimes have the same bad traits, the same bad genes. And so you can have a higher chance of passing that to your child. And so that's one of the reasons why it's kind of made you not made to do that. Okay. Uh, and so that's what we're trying to say with that here. All right. Uh, we did one. I'm going to have you do one now. And uh, and so it's going to be your turn. I've done one. You do one here. All right. Um, all right. We're going to start down over here. All right. All right. Um, you're going to do number six. All right, number six. All right, let's let read six. All right, it says, the allele for brown eyes is dominant to blue eyes. Show the cross between a homozygous dominant parent and a homozygous recessive parent. What does it mean to be homozygous dominant? What are your, what's your genotype going to be? All right, it's going to be, what is your genotype? Let me call on some people so you get this going because we got to get going. Come on, we got to, again, make your learning, own your learning, all right? All right, and so what is a homozygous dominant? What would the homozygous dominant genotype be? Anthony. It's uh, the dominant gene is brown eyes over blue eyes. So what would be homozygous dominant? Big B, big B, or big B, little B, or little B, little B. Oh. 
All right. If it's homozygous, that means they are the same. So it's going to be big B, big B. So I'm going to put her over here, big B, big B. And it says the homozygous recessive. So what is that going to be? Little b, little b. So times. So remember, every time we've done these problems, we wrote, this is what we did. Every time we've done these punted squares, the first thing we wrote were the, what were the what? Whose genes are these? The parents. Then we did the, yeah, we figure out the kids' possibilities by doing the Punnett square. And then we did the possible genotypes and phenotypes. So every time we're doing it exactly the same way. We're doing the same thing every time. All right, so I need you to do six. I'm going to stop, stop, pause the video, and do number six. And again, I'm going to zoom it in so that you can look at it. But pause the video and do uh, number six. I'm going to come around and check you in two minutes. other people that may not know how to do it. All right, so here is that, and here is a pen. Liz, you want me to do the whole thing? Uh, yeah, you're going to do, you know, we've already did the uh, big B, big B times little B, little B, so now you're doing the punnett square, the number six. Yeah. I gotta do this. Uh, so All right, now, well, here's the thing. One quick thing here. All right, for that bottom left, that bottom left. Oh, one, it's. I'm sorry. That's didn't mean to ring. I'm sorry for that. That was a screw up on my part. <laughs> yeah, it's big, big, little. All right, and then the uh, one on the uh, bottom right is you messed that one up, sir. Yeah, that one's big B, little B, because the the here on top is going to give the big B. Is that little B? All right. So yeah, all okay. four of them are going to be big B, little B. Right. So there's only one genotype. So write that over on the genotype. Big B, little B. Yeah. And what percent is it? 100. 100%. All right. And now go over there one more. Let's scoot it over a little bit. In the phenotype, what will the child one show? The one that's the top left, what color eyes will it show? Brown. Brown eyes. What will the child two, the one on the right, the right of it, top right? Hmm. What will the child two, the one on the top right on that? What color eyes will it show? Blue. It's got a brown eye and a blue oh. eye. So every child has brown eyes and blue eyed traits. Has have a brown eye trait and a blue eye trait. So the one that's the top right is big B, little b. So what what trait will it show? Brown. Brown. The one the bottom left eye right, is gonna is big B, little b. What what trait will it show? Brown. All right. And the one that's on the bottom right. We'll show brown. Yeah. So what's the chance of having a brown eyed child? One hundred. One hundred percent. All right. And so this is actually the gene. This is actually what happened with my parents. My dad has got brown, blue eyes, and my mom's got Brown eyes. And I know my mom's genotype is big B, big B, or most likely that because uh, all of her boys, she had four boys, and all four of her boys have brown eyes. <laughs> so this is the situation. But her her grandchildren, my, my parents' grandchildren, some of them have blue eyes. So it's kind of interesting how genetics works. Okay? It's interesting. Here. So what's the phenotype over here? What it says? What were we going to write? Brown eyes. And Brown hand. eyes. What percent? One hundred. One hundred percent. So, like, how do we know to write big, 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 like one of those It depends on what the parents' genes are. You saw how we wrote the the traits over on the far left, where it says homozygous dominant parent and a homozygous recessive parent. A homozygous dominant means homozygous means they're both. Uh, same in their dominant trait. What what is the dominant trait? Brown eyes or blue eyes? Brown. So it's big B, big B. And the homozygous recessive parent is what's the recessive trait? All right. So it's going to be 
little bitty, little bit, right? And so, and therefore, I write it on top of the hundred square, big fee, big fee for one parent. That they're the other parent, little bitty, little bit. All right. All right. So, good job. All right. Thank you, Junior. All right. So, that's how we did that here. You're going to do another one. It's your turn. All right. You're doing another one. This is probably the last one we are, we're going to be doing. Then I'm going to let you do uh, some work on some practice problems on this. You're going to do number five. All right. Um, you're going to do number five. I might do two more, but I'm gonna, we'll see what the deal is here. All right. But number five, I'm coming around in about two minutes to see if you can get five right. All right. And if you get done with it, keep on moving with these. That's what we're doing for our problems today. All the video. Trying to get everybody not to do this here. If you know what you're doing, continue going on to the next problem. Do not wait. Just continue on. All right. Okay, let's need a problem here. All right. But well, that's, uh, that's a good thing. All right. All right. So we're looking at this problem right here, number five. Hmm. All right. Would you read it for us? Me? Yes. Oh, in guinea pigs, the ally for short hair is dominant than the ally for long hair. Show a Cross. Cross between a, what is that word? That's homozygous. A homozygous dominant parent to the homozygous parent. Heterozygous parent. Yeah, whatever. All right, good. All right. Um, uh, so we're going to do this right here. Uh, and so we got a first thing we need to do is we need to write out the parent's gene. If you remember over here on the last problem, uh, we wrote big B as on that last problem, big B, big B times little B, little B. We need to write out what those parents' genes are at the top. What are the parents' genes? Mm, big S, big S. Mm -hmm. Big S, big S, that's right. Big S, big S. And times, what's the other parent? Uh, big S, little S. Yes, very good. Excellent job. Perfect. Heterozygous means they're different. And the other one that means they're saying they're big S. And what does big S represent again? Right? What does big S represent? Dominant. It's the dominant. And is that the short hair or is that the, uh, the long hair? Short hair. So right, big S and short hair up on top somewhere so we can see that. Not right Wait, there. Big, you said right? right up on top underneath where it says homozygous. Okay. Where it says homozygous okay. right there. Yeah. Big S equals what? Is equal to uh, short hair or long hair? Short. Short. And then the little s means. Long. Long hair. Okay. All right. And so let's go do our planet square. So you've got those are the parent sheets. That thing that you do with the big S, big S times big mm -hmm. S, little s, that's the parent sheet. Now we're going to find out what the children could have. Okay. Because again, in a planet square, the parents, the, the kids, uh, the parents don't give both good things. They only give one. So the first one is uh, big. What is the first child going to receive? Big S, big S. Big S, big S. It's perfect. Hmm? It doesn't matter which one you do first. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Um, and then the next child below it would receive what? Big S, big S. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right. The top right, that child would receive? Big S, low S. Perfect. All right. And the bottom right? Big S, low S. Mm -hmm. So what is the genotype? Uh, the genotypes, there are two genotypes that are possible. What are they for the children? Oh, um. All right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What'd you say? What are the two genotypes that are possible? Uh, 
Big ass, big ass is 50%. Yes, big ass, big ass is 50%. That's exactly right. All right, and what's the other genotype? Let's look on there. It tells you right there. How many? What's there? You got big ass, big ass is one of the inside the squares. What's the other option? It's big ass, low ass. Yes, and what percent is that? Five. 50%. Oh. All right, and so that's how we do that. See, all right. Uh, what will they? What will the top child show? Will it show long hair or short hair? Short. All right. Uh, what will the bottom left? So long. All right. It's got big S, big S, big S stands short. for short, short. So it's gonna have short hair. How about the top right? It's got a big S and a little S. Long. It's going to be also short. All of them short because all of them are going to be short because which is the dominant trait? Short hair. And so everyone has at least one dominant trait. So therefore, you're going to have it. So what's the percentage having uh, short hair? 100%. All right. So, the, uh, so what is it? What's the phenotype? Phenotype is the trait that's shown. All right. Uh, and so it's the trait that's shown. So what's the trait that's going to be shown? Short hair. Yes. And what's the percent of that? 100. 100%. All right. All right. And so that's how we're doing this here. What we're going to do is we're going to do, we're going to do one more. But again, you're doing all of them, but we're doing one more together. All right. We're going to, you're going to do all of them, but we're going to do one more together. All right. Um, all right, we're going to do this problem right here. It says number three on the back. All right, it says a tall plant is crossed with a short plant. And you can kind of, what will be the dominant gene? Yeah, yeah, the big T, which it represents tall or short? Tall, okay, so it represents tall. So tall is the dominant gene. Uh, and so what you're going to do is you're going to do this cross and I'm going to come around in about one minute or two minutes. Go do that now. All right. So I'm going to lead on this problem here. And so the first thing we do with every single of these problems, what is the first thing we've done with every one of these problems? You write the parents genes first. All right, so we actually, it kind of already tells us the parents' genes. So this makes it even simpler. So what are the parents' genes? Big T, little t times little t, little t. That's the parents' genes. That's the cross, All right? Uh, and then we're going to do our um, our Punnett square. So I'm going to do my, my little box. Huh? We're doing number three. Oops, I did. thank you for correcting me. I, I screwed up with where I'm putting it. Thank you for correcting me. Times little t, little t. All right. All right, so I'm going to put, what am I going to put on this side? All right, you can put little t, little t, and what am I going to put on the top then? Big t and little t. And again, the, the I could have put, I could have put big t, little t on this side. It doesn't matter. Okay, as long as you you can you put each parent one parent on one side and one parent on the other side. So what is the first one going to be? Okay, what is the next one going to be? It's it. Well, it depends on how you wrote it, but for the mine it will be big T little T, and this one will be little T little T and little T. All right, so the first thing I do is the is the cross. Then I do the Punnett square. What was the next thing I do in all these problems? The possible genotypes and the possible phenotypes. All right, so possible genotypes. What are the possible genotypes for the kids? Yes. How many out of the four are big T, little t? 
Oh, sorry. I, I didn't. I didn't mean. I need to zoom it back in. That's why, because I screwed up. All right, big T, little T. What? How? What's the chance of getting big T, little T? Fifty percent. What's the chance of getting little T, little T? Fifty percent. So that's the genotypes. What's the possible phenotypes? All right, possible phenotypes. Fifty percent chance for what? 50% chance for tall, because this one would be tall, this one would be tall, but this one would be short, and this one would be short. So uh, for tall plant, it's 50%. For short plant, it is 50%. All right, for homework, you're going to do the rest of these, and you're going to do those three things. You're going to do the cross, then the Punnett square, and then the possible genotypes and the possible phenotypes. That's what you're doing the whole time. Uh huh? Yes, I every side. Okay. All right. Uh, but what we're going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and stop this here.